Stanford Law School professor Pamela Carlin, one of three witnesses called by Democrats to testify on the first day of the House Judiciary Committee's impeachment inquiry, once admitted to despising President Donald Trump so much that she crossed the street rather than walk by one of his hotels. In a 2017 American Constitution Society panel discussion, which also included former Weekly Standard editor Bill Kristol and was moderated by The Washington Post's Ruth Marcus, Carlin repeatedly launched into rants about Trump's outrageous behavior both before and after he was elected, repeatedly saying that he worries her and questioning whether he is able to tell the difference between truth and falsehood. She shared the anecdote about avoiding the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C in her very first statement for the panel. I came in from the airport yesterday and I got off the bus from Dulles down at Lawn Fon Plaza and I walked up to the hotel and as I was walking past what used to be the old post office building and is now Trump Hotel. I had to cross the street, of course, she said, are you staying there? Neil Siegel, a fellow panelist, asked. Carlin responded, God, no, never. Carlin went on to characterize Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump as inexperienced and loopy and criticized Trump for his lack of public service experience prior to becoming president. This is the first time in our country's history that we have elected a president who, before he became president, had never served in public service for a minute, a second, a nanosecond of his entire life, and we are reaping the whirlwind of that, she said. At one point, Carlin claimed President Trump does not believe in democracy, citing his opposition to Hillary Clinton. My candidate for norm that has been violated that is the most critical is the norm of a belief in democracy. We have a president who fundamentally doesn't believe in it. How do we know this? I'm going to look back to the campaign. Threatening to put your opponent in jail when you're running, saying that you will only accept the result of the election if you win. Believing that, despite all of the evidence, you won the popular vote because there's massive vote fraud, creating a commission to look into voting in the United States that is so stacked with people who have already announced that they think that there are huge numbers of unqualified people voting, as opposed to being worried about the number of qualified people who can vote. Not believing in the rule of law, moderator, so-called judges, so-called judges. I mean, we have a president who, for the first time, at least in my lifetime, does not even give lip service to the idea that this country is a democracy and that people should participate in the government. And that you need a free press. So instead of the Declaration of Independence, we now have we hold this alternative reality to be self-evident. And that really worries me, because I think when the elite tells the people, don't believe in democracy, it's very hard to pull that back. And that's the norm, just the belief that this country is a country of self-government, that has been blown through by this president and that, I think, has to be reclaimed, emphasis added. Carlin also questioned whether President Trump can clearly distinguish between truth and falsity, 